fully understand the qualify step, you have to have a good understanding of what business is. Very simply, business is making a person's life better. That's all business has ever been or ever will be. Don't ever forget this. It's the primary and most important thing you can know about business. Keeping this in mind, let me explain the qualify step. The purpose of the qualify step is to find out what the prospect needs, wants, and doesn't want as it pertains to the RX business or product. If business is making a person's life better, the qualify step is finding out what will make this person's life better. This ultimately determines if he or she qualifies to be invited to look at RX. The reason I've included doesn't want is because many times the prospect will state things that he or she doesn't want, such as, I don't want to work for an unethical boss anymore, or I don't want to sit in traffic anymore. If in the qualify step your prospect states a don't want to you, don't ever change what your prospect says. I was talking with a lady once and I asked her why she was looking for a business. And she replied, so I don't have to be dependent on my ex-husband for money. That's obviously a don't want response. The worst thing I could have done was to change her statement to something like, oh, so you want to make your own money? No, that's not what she said. Of all the words in the English language, she chose and arranged specific words to describe her emotions. Don't change your prospect's words. If you do, you forfeit your prospect's emotions and much of the power behind the inviting formula. The most important thing you can ever know about someone is what will help them. It's so critical that you understand that your prospect has some need or some want or some don't want. I've never met anyone who doesn't need, want, or not want something, no matter how high they are up the economic ladder. The way the greeting, qualify, and invite steps work together is that you talk with a person and get them talking freely and openly. When this happens, you move to the qualify step and find out what will make this prospect's life better. When they give you that information, you're going to use that phrase to then invite them to look at something that will help them get what they've stated they want. Here's the concept I want you to wrap your entire mind, body, and soul around. Mr. Prospect wants something and evidently can't get it on his own. Otherwise, he already would have it. Therefore, he needs your help. Because of this, never, ever be rude to your prospect. If he's rude to you, it's because you have either violated the inviting formula or one or more of the communication qualities, which you'll learn next. Just because someone is rude to you doesn't mean you need to be rude back to them. A couple of final thoughts before we move to the invite step of the formula. Sometimes you'll do such a good job in the greeting, the prospect will actually give you a qualifying statement. Just imagine I'm talking with a prospect in the greeting, and we're talking about the economy. Within that conversation, they say to me, yeah, times are really bad. I can barely make ends meet. This is a qualifying statement. I never needed to ask them a qualifying question. They, meaning the prospect, has moved us to the qualifying step. To that statement, though, I'd continue with some additional qualifying questions like, so have you thought of anything you can do to make ends meet? What have you looked at? Does anything look promising? These types of questions do wonders in helping you extend a perfect invitation, which is the next step of the formula. Let me give you a couple of more examples of qualifying questions you can use. Are you open to looking at a business of your own? Would you be interested in working on a project with me? Have you ever thought of owning your own business? Have you ever owned your own business? What stopped you from building your own business? If you were to start your own business, what type would you open? Obviously, those are basic questions, so you'll want to tailor them to the conversation you're having with your prospect. The final thought I want to give you on the qualify step is that you're not just determining if your prospect qualifies for your business or product. You're also finding out, can you help them get what they want? Do you want to help them? And do they want help? You see, many times your prospect may qualify for the business because of their circumstance in life. But do they want to be helped? I've seen many times that they don't want to be helped, and so truthfully, they don't qualify. I've also met people that I honestly didn't want to help. It could be something about them that rubbed me the wrong way, or that they are just going to take too much work from me. So in the qualify step, 
make sure they fully qualify, otherwise you may regret sponsoring them later. We're going to now move to the invite step, which I'll cover in the next lesson. But before I end this lesson, I want to recap quickly to ensure we're on the same page. First you greet and get your prospect talking to you. Then you qualify, find out what they want. And then, if they do qualify and you want to help them, and they want help, you can then invite them. Let's move to that step now.